Good morning and welcome to the day before Thanksgiving and all of the fun things that are going to go on and happen and share with people. We are excited. How are you today, Miss Deb? I'm great and really looking forward to some nice good food tomorrow and good company and good friends. So welcome everyone. Yes, as you guys should know what it's very cool. Debbie makes all this amazing food for days ahead of time. Invite <laughs> us over because she's got a great big oven and she can handle a great big turkey. <laughs> and then she lulls us with all this wonderful turkey into a stupor and then says, let's play cards. Isn't that <laughs> crazy? <laughs> Think that's very crafty on Deb's part. Okay. Hey, I have to do something to beat you card sharks. That's all. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's the card sharks. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're going to start out our excitement here with. Who's Spike Nard? You don't have to fix problems if problems come up. You fix your thinking or your attitude toward a problem. And mm -hmm. the problem fix themselves our great aunt louise hay who passed away last year mm -hmm. and she liked oils too and i particularly like spike nard for when our brains want to get ahead of what's good for us common sense wise mm -hmm. that that makes a lot of sense that was a good choice i like that myself okay so as we approach the holidays some people are highly emotional some people are lonesome some people are wishing their life could be different. Whatever it is, we're going to ask you to stay in perfect present moment because that is your gift to yourself. Now we got to think about the turkey. <laughs> they do what? <laughs> Stuff what into where? Oh, hell no. I am out of here. Okay. Sorry, turkey. Debbie already has you in her refrigerator. Ha ha. <laughs> Let's talk about your body on stress. Yeah. You know, everyone reacts to it a little bit differently, but um, this slide really uh, tells us about five main points, and it's true. You know, the nervous system, you get that fight or flight um, reaction to sudden th threats, you know, and your adrenals go bananas. Um, it's called stress hormones, and that really impacts many of us during the holiday season. Right, the nerve, sympathetic nervous system's hormones make the heartbeat faster, raises blood pressure, changes the digestive process, and increases glucose levels in the bloodstream. Whether actually something is going on that makes you uncomfortable or just being with people where previously you have felt uncomfortable, it's enough to get your nervous system going. So we recommend oils. Oils, party at a tube. Bring your favorite blend. We have blends all through this presentation. But if you are addressing positive things ahead of time, whatever surprises Uncle Louie or Aunt Lily might be bringing, you will be fine. Mm -hmm. What happens to your muscles, Deb? Well, they tense up and they start to contract and they may trigger headaches and migraines. And I know that in my family, my sister-in-law every holiday, oh, I have a migraine. So um, this really does happen. There's so many oils that you can be prepared to have with you or for your relatives, just to rub on even the temples of your head, the back of your neck, and it will definitely relieve that pressure. Right, and when some people start, what is that fragrance? <laughs> You, yeah. that's what the party in a tube can be such a great helper. Right. Get your party in a tube loaded ahead of time to keep you relaxed. Your respiratory system can cause rapid breathing, hyperventilation, or a panic attack in some people. Just mm -hmm. anticipation. Actually, nothing's actually happened yet. People are just starting to show up. And if you anticipate a problem, wham, you're going to have a problem. Mm -hmm. So we like to put oils right on our sternum. We like to use things like neroli, great for the pericardium. I also love helichrysum. I put helichrysum right on my sternum when I think things are going to get icky or tight. Right. And I bring terazine. Somebody said to me the other day, well, I have to take it in a pill form. Great, take terazine with you because 
a lot of what we perceive you have to be able to digest easily. So if your nephew who's a drug addict is being treated like a king and that causes you some stress, it's really important you use the Terrazyme and your PB Assist to help you properly digest what you cannot control. And you really shouldn't be judging because you have to have your own stuff straight first. Mm -hmm. And once I check, Debbie, I don't know anybody who's perfect. Do you know anybody who's perfect? No, no, not at all. And, you know, the thing that we forget is we can prepare for this. So today, many times during the day, if we anticipate this is the way we're going to respond, start your oil treatments now. Start putting them on, rub them on the bottom of your feet, the back of your neck, and you're going to be really good to go by tomorrow. Right. And you don't want any cardiac stress, your endocrine system, your stress hormones. Right. Cortisol epinephrine are released, liver produces more glucose. And so protein can help with the glucose, can it, Miss Deb? Absolutely, we don't wanna load up on all those uh, great desserts yet until you get some protein in your system. Protein does help cut down and help reduce the, the sugar, the, the speed with which the sugar enters our bloodstream. So you always wanna have some protein first. And, you know, yeah. a lot of people have that gastrointestinal stuff going, too. Right. And it's it's really tough when you're in a stressful situation where you want to celebrate, you want to be happy. And there's always somebody in the crowd, whether it's at your house or your friend's house or grandma's house, there's always somebody who's going to have to say something unkind mm -hmm. or comment about oh in the old days this was so much better or grandma's not here so we can't make the puff rice candy anymore you got to take your terrazyme you have to take your pb assist you have to let others be wrong quietly right remember that thanksgiving is a very emotional holiday people travel thousands of miles to be with people they only see once a year and then discover once a year is way too often. <laughs> a friend Patty Carson said that. And, and I always like this one because it's true. It is true. Sometimes brothers and sisters want to stuff you into a mold. They have expectations of, um, in our dysfunctional family, we call it linkage. Oh, you're linking the wrong area up. You know, you have to. Think in terms of what's good for you and bless the family, but enjoy your distance, okay? Right, and a lot of times I know in my family, it was like pick on Debbie Day. A lot of the times my uncles, who I love dearly, would come over and you know criticize. And when you've been in that situation, you're already anticipating it before it happens. So try to like, go in with a different attitude like you said have your party in the tubes and and maybe you'll want to see them next year too <laughs> right it was a party in the tube i always do it right in front of them to make them jealous what is that nothing what do you <laughs> nothing can i have some no okay <laughs> change the subject move them along and then yes. of course smile right after you inhale and then they really want whatever you're telling them <laughs> you yep. tell me them stinky oils. That's okay. right. Oh, Deb, you wrote this one, didn't you? No, I don't think so. I like it though. All right. If I get that, I eat too much. If I lose weight, I'm sick. If I dress well, I show off. If I dress simply, I am poor. Boy, I could relate to that though. I know. <laughs> if I cry, I am pitied. If I speak my mind, I am arrogant. Oh my. That's my life story. You're absolutely right. <laughs> In fact, nowadays, no matter what you do, somebody is always going to criticize you. So you might as well just be yourself. So, Self-hug so. is so important. Self-hug when you're getting dressed before your event in the palm of your right hand. Toss mm -hmm. two of your favorite oils. Reach across your body and rub your left shoulder and just say something nice to yourself. I am great just the way I am. I am fine just the way I am. I love all of me. And you rub that on your right, sh your left shoulder, and you bring yourself into perfect present moment. 
no false expectations of anyone in that group is going to say something nice because sometimes those poor people just aren't capable, okay? It's not that they don't want to be nice. They're so busy seeking everyone else's approval or disdain because sometimes they like that. Mm -hmm. That they aren't going to say something nice to you. So don't have an expectation. Just be perfectly present in loving yourself. And you will be amazed at how you float through the day and come out the other side feeling really good. So true. <gasps> Look at this, Deb. We have difficult family members. <laughs> yes. Yes. I want to tell everybody, raise your hand if that's you. I think all, all our listeners would do that. But every family member is dealing with their own issues as well. So have compassion for their unhappiness. Create strong boundaries with them. As Sue said, be able to walk away from them. Excuse yourself. You know, remove yourself from the situation. Examine your reactions to their behavior and don't engage with their bad behavior. You want to spend less time with them and grieve the loss of the ideal family. And I think that's so true, that last statement. We all want that perfect family, you know, that's that's shown on television. And um, it's not. So just accept our family for what it is. You want to um, yes. forgive yourself? Yes. Yeah, with balance and serenity, put it around your core. And how do we forgive others? We rub it around the core also. We just use Ibervitae and green mandarin, and you put it on your temples. And okay. while you're rubbing it on your temples, and people will say, what is that? You say, it's my allergy relief medicine. <laughs> and the weather changing, I'm telling you, I need this because I'm going to get all choked up. Try not to giggle while you're saying it. That's a great combination. Wow. Okay. okay. You have to let us in your kitchen tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs> All family and fun until someone has to wash the dishes. Uh -huh. By the way, I like having a job. I like having activities to do because then in difficult family situations, you could be busy. Uh -huh. And I like to have things in my hands and carry things around with me like a bottle of water, you know, move something to the table. Because when you do that, what's really cool is that they can't ask you to do something. You're either busy doing something that helps them or mm. you be busy with your own bottle of water, your own cucumber, whatever it is. And then they can't ask you to do something. So you decide. I usually pick a team ahead of time. I'll go like, oh, she would be fun to go wash dishes with. Why don't I pick her? So be attentive to help the hostess, but turn it to your advantage. Does that make sense? It well, makes plenty of sense. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Now, <laughs> start talking. Make sure your tongue and your brain are connected. Because what happens baby, if they're not connected? Well, a lot of times just the stuff spews forth out of your mouth, things that shouldn't be said that you should just be thinking about in your head. So you want to just, because once the words are out, you can't undo them. And that's the part you have to remember. So Think before you speak a little bit. Right. And when you get to the other side of the day, I want you to be proud of yourself. I want you to be happy with who you are. Mm -hmm. Well, and, you know, for those listeners, if you're going to have a little bit of snowfall tomorrow, a way to get rid of it is just say, oh, I need to go shovel the walk for a little bit <laughs> and remove yourself. Or I left something in the car. Walk yep. outside. Take some deep breaths. Yes. It's okay to say no. Keeping commitments manageable helps keep unnecessary stress at bay. We have a friend who sings at the Midnight Mass in one of the towns not too far from us. And we like to go and we always joke about what time does Midnight Mass start for, you know, Christmas Eve. Yeah. And to tell us, you know, what time it starts. But I'm not always able 
to stay up for midnight mass because sometimes we have a lot of activities going on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's really hard. Um, It took me a long time to learn to say no because I always wanted to please everyone and help everyone, but that makes, it definitely de-stresses your life if you can learn to say no. You know, a lot of, yeah, you just say, sorry, can't do it. Much as I'd like to, I really can't. Yep. Um, And things may not always go as planned. Try to stay focused on what can work and not whine about, oh, the potatoes burn, too bad. Oh, well, we like crunchy parts. Save the crunchy parts for me. Turn it into what is good. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you just want to make wise choices. If you know that your aunt's get-togethers always stress you out, then you politely decline and do something else that brings you joy. Don't put yourself in a situation that you know is going to be uncomfortable. Yeah, go over to the soup kitchen. Go over to the volunteer place. Uh, Make yourself busy with your volunteering. Or better yet, turn off your phone and take a nap. Mm Mm-hmm. Spirits can lift depressed spirits and lowered inhibitions can result in holiday ruining episode. Um, They don't really lift your spirits. They change your metabolism. So you could be a little silly, but at the same time, it loosens your tongue. And you may say things that you can't get back. Like Deb said earlier, once it's out of your mouth, you can't undo it. Right. And this is the perfect time of year to reach out and touch someone. No, 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 I didn't mean that. Reach out and stay connected with someone, with family or friends. Find a support group if you want, if you're feeling a little down. You know, look around. There's so much going on. You know, years ago, nothing happened on Thanksgiving or Christmas. Now there's things open everywhere during the holiday season. So find something that's going to put a smile on your face. Yes, I am grateful for the emergency people and the hospital people who work on Thanksgiving. I am very grateful. We have a a young friend of ours who got her RN last May, and she's so excited. She gets to work the holidays and gets paid double. So (laughs) she wants to pay (laughs) pay off her student loans. God bless her. Here's some rules. Okay. Number one. Don't go into debt trying to show people how much you love them. True. Number two, don't go visit your family if it compromises your mental health. (laughs) And if somebody comments on your weight, I want you to eat them. Just prepare (laughs) with essential oils, cut open their head, and just eat them for dinner. Okay. Temper reliever. Copaiba with tri-ease is great. It will calm you in spite of the unreasonableness of your family. Or rose touch and rose jasmine is a wonderful combination of the palms of your hands to relieve. You don't need to react, okay? Mm -hmm. No reaction will fry their butt better than anything else. That's true. Okay. All right. If you're feeling stressed about having to deal with family, Come up with a list of things you can use to redirect the conversation as quickly as possible. Memorize them. So this way you can turn it around, change the subject, and get off what may have been an upsetting conversation. Such as some people are going through divorces. Some people are going through changing homes, changing jobs, changing relationships. Uh, Some people's kids have gone off on their own to be wild and crazy and they're missing for the holidays. So there's a lot of stress that can be going on and we don't want to be quizzed about things that are other people's choices. Mm -hmm. Family gossip is really important, especially if it comes to human relationships because I've been around long enough to know that just because someone starts a separation doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be separated or the divorce will be final. So best to abstain from any gossip about their humanness. Got that? Got it. All right, and some suggestions are 
you're really good at this, Deb, because you've dealt with difficult parents and you know how to help them shift ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, talk about something that you know they're interested in. Um, ask them about a new haircut. Um, comment on the tea on the tablecloth on the on the dining table. Um, there's so many things you can talk about: books and movies and weather, uh, recipes, music, dance. And you know, Sue, you and I, we always plan things. We plan games. We have events. We have activities on the table where they can draw on the table. So we're providing them with. We're kind of modifying their behavior and steering the conversation in different directions by what we're offering them to do. And this also, the benefit you know of keeping yourself neutral is at the end of the day and the next day, people can say, gee, I had a good time and it was stress-free. Yes. Because the more you're focused on peace and harmony, the more likely everyone is to have a better time. This comes up every year. I get people calling me. I can't believe they gave me this old tired scarf that they made from leftover yarn. Well, they're not being cheap. Consider the time they spent finding materials, making you a unique and special gift. Mm -hmm. they, because they love you. And while they were making the gift, they were thinking about you. And they were thinking about how much they like you. That's mm -hmm. why they made you something. And it's important to know what you really will accept as love mm -hmm. right out sit down and say okay how do i really want to be loved how will i recognize being cared about is mm -hmm. it a handmade card is it a handmade ornament what what will make me feel recognized mm -hmm. rather than having this willy-nilly childlike anticipation of i'm going to get a great gift from grandma what are you contributing? Maybe the focus needs to be a little different. Right. You know, just last year I had to go get a big bird tree because some of my favorite ornaments are the ones that I that the, my students had made for me over my years of teaching. And to this day, they you know they write their name on and they made me a close to reindeer or you know anything like that. And those are still some of the ones that I that I hold the dearest in my heart because, like you said, they made it for me yes and every day of your life your immune system destroys a cell that could become cancer if it lived the five things that influence this process are what your skin absorbs that's why doTERRA products are so important mm -hmm. what you guessed and we talked about bringing terrazyme and PB assist with you for the meals that can have some less than smoothness going on. Mm -hmm. and you're removing yourself from a seat of judgment will definitely improve your digestion. What you breathe in, what you breathe out, how much you move, and most of all, what you think. So if you go out of your way to say good things about yourself and to yourself, and you use DDR Prime and Pink Pepper, you will be boosting your immune system's ability to kill off the seeds of cancer. Drinking lots of water is so important. Mm -hmm. And and don't be the couch potato. You no, know, yeah. Move it, yeah. move it, move it. Yeah, even on the holiday, get up and walk around and move and just don't sit there. It's so important to do that. And just even go in another room, take some deep breaths. Wonderful. Yes, and um, we we do funny things to try to distract people who are determined to be unhappy or to be bitter. Mm -hmm. I always say, be. you can be bitter or you can get better. It's up to you. And if you're really dreading doing some tradition, maybe don't do it. Maybe inspire people with bringing little funny notes or positive affirmations. Stick them all up. Write people little messages and hide them. Put them under their plates. For years, we uh, by here in New Jersey, we have these lottery tickets that are often thematic. So we'll stop and get lottery tickets and sneak them under people's dinner plates before they even start dinner. Create surprises. Try new things. 
I mm -hmm. love the picture because um, teenagers, young people that get all involved in electronic activities when it's meal time, they're not genuinely participating. And the holidays is one of those opportunities where kids can actually learn by the adult's example. So if we're complimentary of the meal, if we're finding good things to say, the kids will get a sense of that's what's supposed to happen at meals. We're not texting our friends. That's wonderful. I really love that idea. <laughs> yes. Um, you want to remember that peace is not absence of conflict. It is the ability to handle conflict by peaceful means. That was Ronald Reagan, and that's really true. Um, conflict exists everywhere, day to day. I mean, going to the supermarket, you can have a conflict, but the way we handle those things um, needs to be in a peaceful manner, and it's going to help us uh, be better you know, in dealing with them. Right, and discuss out loud things that you did in the last year that were fun. Talk about going to the outdoor um, sculpture gardens. Talk about going to see a great movie. Uh, talk about what you saw on Netflix that was really fun. Like where John and I are a little behind. We don't watch as much TV as a lot of other people. And several years ago, my sister-in-law recommended Downton Abbey. Well, Dalton Abbey turned out to be delightful and had some historic value, too. And we watched that series. It took us weeks, of course, because we'd only, like, watch a half hour and be falling asleep on the couch. But <laughs> exchange fun things that you learn that you like to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is one of our favorites. We've yes. done this for years where when it comes to holidays, we get out the family tablecloth and you have people write something happy. People who just got engaged. What is it we ask them to do, Deb? Yeah, they're going to um, have everyone write something on their tablecloth and then they're going to, that's going to become their new tradition for when they're married. So it's a, it's a great thing for them to do. Yeah. And, and they, carry it, they carry it with them during the holidays. That's right. Yeah. New engaged couples get invited by both sides of the families. Come and have yes. dinner. Come and have dinner. And you get everyone to sign the good luck tablecloth. Mm -hmm. And it's really fun. This is a group that did the embroidery and they had everyone embroider their names, you know, every year about who's here, who's arriving. And then the next year they did a um a character or a little animal. Some of them are hard for you to see, but it's part of what's fun it's true okay this time of the year there's a lot of people you know you get those quote unquote holiday blues so some of the ways to deal with them are to feel your feelings the only way to get them out is through them Open you want you don't have to face this alone let people know when it's okay to call if you've had a recent loss. Let mm -hmm. people know, gee, I'd like to go to the bakery. When you go to the bakery to get fresh rolls, I'd like to go too. Um, you don't have to do everything that people invite you to do, but mm -hmm. give them something. Let them drive you to church on Sunday or Saturday night or whenever you would like to go. Right. Some people choose to meditate to quiet the thoughts that torment them. And so by taking them into that nice, quiet place, they're stopping that, you know, that rewind, that broken record of all the what ifs and things in your head. And it'd be fun to start a new holiday tradition instead of focusing on, focusing on what once was. Right. You know, play different music. Um, play different games. You don't have to do the same old things. You don't have to sit around and feel bad about grandma having passed. Mm. Grandma was a great jokester. So duplicate what she taught you. That was fun. Yeah. You know, in this time of the year, I know Sue and I comment on it all the time. It gets dark much earlier and that really does have an impact on how we feel. So, and you know, the stormy days, it's, you don't get the sunshine. So try like some light therapy um, to counter how you feel with all the gray weather. Yep. 
creativity is extraordinarily therapeutic. I recommend that people write out stories that were family stories, write out histories, make creative cards for the little kids. Little kids love getting snail mail. So if you have nieces and nephews, send them a card. They love that. Yeah, and don't forget, exercise is really great at helping you deal with the blues because it boosts those endorphins. So get moving. I mean, even if it's to a holiday song tape, just move. Yes, get outside even if it's cold. Nature will heal you. Walk around. If you stay in the same four walls thinking the same four thoughts, how can anything change? Mm -hmm. You must get out and get moving. Yeah, and you know, a little like taking care of you time, self-care can go a long way. doTERRA has some wonderful spa treatment things. Um, and if you just take the time in, in the soaks and just take care of you, we have some great moisturizers and, and great things, even like our little foot bath. Um, treatments. It just yeah. makes you feel so much better about you. And diffuse citrus bliss. It's calming and it reduces blood pressure and often lifts spirits. And volunteer. I'm big on volunteer. You really should yes. volunteer. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You know, holidays can be hard for all of us, but if you are going for through a divorce, um, you can manage getting through them. You want to create new traditions. Don't do the same things that you did when you were together. Right. On the days that you don't have the kids, make plans with other singles. And when you want to work with the holidays with your kids, give them a voice and just say, what would you like to do? Who do you want to sit next to? Whose turn is it to write up a story? Give the kids a voice. Don't make decisions for them all the time. Mm hmm Kids want to scream and holler. That's all right. That's just a sign that they're well loved. You, they feel secure enough with you to express loudly. Don't take it personal. Do not take it personal. Diffuse and party in a tube with what is that one we like? The new scent, Harvest. Harvest Spice. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's very nice. It's wonderful. Put that in an inhaler. I would only use like six or seven drops. Mm -hmm. I think that would be plenty. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, um, it, there's such a warming, you know, the smell evokes the warmth of like holiday cooking. So it makes you smile. Yes. You will you never speak to anyone more than you speak to yourself in your head. Be kind yes. to yourself. You cannot be all things to all people and in particular to your family. You guys all came in together to help each other with the lessons you needed to learn. And that doesn't always mean perfect harmony. Sometimes mm -hmm. that means celebrating the differences. But make a party in the tube and put some good things in it like Joyful Blend or right. or Green Mandarin and just inhale and remind yourself what a great talented person you are although different from your brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles and nephews. Right. No, that's so true. We, when we beat ourselves up, we're making it worse for ourselves, you know? Um, some, some ideas for dealing with stress in the holidays, and I think this one's great. It's what Sue always talks about. Start and end your day with gratitude. Be grateful. Just say those words. Thankful that you got up. Thankful that you're going to have company. Thankful that you're going to a new um, a new restaurant for dinner. Just express that gratitude. Yeah, I'm grateful I get to go to Debbie's tomorrow and she's cooking for us. Yay! <laughs> yes, yes. And I'm grateful I get to be with good friends. So um, it works all the way around. Right. Eat a healthy <laughs> breakfast, please. I don't care if it's a small shake, make yourself a healthy breakfast that will give you a good start on your days of celebration and excitement. Keep healthy snacks with you. Ziplocs, I'm the Ziploc queen. I love celery and cucumbers and carrots. Those are things I carry with me in my Ziplocs. Right. And if you know you're going to a holiday party and you wanna be um, cautious about how much you eat, have a very light snack before you go, a light, healthy snack, and that will curb your appetite for some of the, 
those tempting things at the party. Yes. Um, don't forget you want to exercise every day, even if it's just for 15 minutes. You know, get out, walk around, do some form of exercise. Get all the, you know, those endorphins moving. And um, get enough rest. Smile and laugh at least three times a day. Spend quality time with loved ones. Help someone in need. And stop judging others. Lower your expectations of others. Because if you decide how they should behave, then you're going to be looking to criticize. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, take time to do what makes your soul happy. Yeah, just take some time out to do something nice. Don't always spend your time doing for others. Yes. And I like the really touch on our hearts. Really nice idea. Yes. People wrote to me and said, please put the new weight loss protocol. Try this for 30 days, measure before and after. Mito 2 Max, two of them before breakfast and lunch and internally twice a day. I want you to combine two drops of pink pepper, two drops of black pepper, two drops of yarrow pomegranate, two drops of turmeric. Sorry, I spelled that wrong. It's T-U-R, okay? Mm -hmm. to add two drops of another oil that you may need that day, but put it in a capsule and toss it down twice a day. Drink your water. We know people who've been doing this since convention and they've eliminated weight without really changing that much of their diet. One lady said, well, I'm not having obvious sugar anymore, but I still have hot dog buns. So we all know hot dog buns have got sugar in it. Mm -hmm. So do this. You will feel good. <laughs> okay. May your stuffing be tasty. May your turkey plump. May your potatoes and gravy have nary a lump. May your yams be delicious and your pies take the prize. And may your Thanksgiving dinner stay off your thighs. <laughs> yes. Yes. So We'd like to thank you joining us today um we have a special sale going on with custom affirmations and crystal blends and t-shirts and, and other fun things including party in a tube is on sale write to happycal 359 at gmail.com and we'll send you pictures and we'll send you a list up in the questions you know thank allison for being there today Yes, thank you all. And, uh, you know, this is a perfect time to start your uh, your Christmas shopping. So, uh, the right and I will answer them quickly, I promise. Thank you, Dr. Thank Sue. You. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Everyone to say thank you. Happy holidays. Yes. Remember, yeah. hang on to yourself and you will love yourself more. You're amazing. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Miss Deb. Thank you.